Hey everyone, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies and today's video is one I find to be very important when you're considering what solar panels to go with. This to me should be on the top of your list for a solar panel manufacturer. And the question is, is it made in America? But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, I want to point out that this week video is sponsored by the nation's largest solar and electrical equipment distributor, CED Green Tech, specifically the one we work with the most, Riverside. Without the support of CED Green Tech, we wouldn't be able to offer you many of the products we promote and discuss on our channel. And speaking of channel, don't forget to subscribe to it. Yeah, click the button down below. And if you're someone interested in getting a hassle-free quote, then visit us online at pacificsuntech.com or by using the link in the description below. So the question we've been asked a lot lately is what solar panels are made in America? And you'd be surprised at how many solar panel manufacturers have shifted gears in the last few years to build million dollar facilities to produce their solar panels here in the US. One brand that has grown in popularity in the United States for residential solar projects and large scale commercial projects is Qcells. This 20 plus year old company spent big bucks to bring manufacturing of their patented quantum solar cell technology to the United States, specifically Dalton, Georgia. The two modules to look for from QCell to ensure you're getting made in America are the G7 and the G6 or G6 Plus, both of which we offer our customers. And thanks to CED Green Tech Riverside, I have both modules here with me to talk to you about them and why they're the number one sold solar panel in the United States. Starting with this beauty right here, the Q-Peak Duo G7. This module is black on white solar panel. Now, this term you may hear when you're shopping around for solar panels, black on white, black on black, black on clear. This terminology has to do with the cell color, the frame color, and the back sheeting. Looking at the G7, it has a black frame, right there, black frame, with a white back sheeting. As you can see, though, there's a little bit of white here between all the cells. A very subtle back sheeting, but it is white. Some customers prefer black on black appearances, and that's where the G6 Plus on my other side is a great choice, offering an all black frame, all black back sheeting, and of course, black cells. And when you have it installed on your roof, it really looks amazing. Just check out some of our recent install photos, and if you want your solar to look as good as this, then visit us online to receive a hassle-free quote by using the link in the description below. Now let's get back to the G7 and what makes it so great. This is the newest generation from QCell, offering 325 watts to 335 watts of power with an efficiency of up to 20.2%. This is a premium panel offering a 25 year linear performance warranty that QCell says the module will have a nominal power of at least 93.1% at year 10 and 85% by year 25. What this means is that this panel by year 25 will produce 85% of its current rating. And basically at any point, if it drops below this figure, then the panel would be replaced under warranty. On top of this performance warranty, QCell also offers a 25 year product warranty. QCell's QPeak Duo G7 325 watt panel is a great buy. And if you check various online sources, you'll see it's considered a very good panel which we have to agree with. It's high efficiency, high wattage, best in class warranty, and affordable pricing makes it a no brainer to at least consider, especially if you're looking for a product made here in America. Now, moving on to the Q-Peak Duo G6 Plus Black on black module that many of our customers choose, this panel offers 330 watts to 345 watts of power, an efficiency rating of up to 19.5%. This is down from the G7 by 0.6%, very small. 
but it's important to note that this occurs in many cases for black on black modules and it has to do with how light can be better captured on a white back sheeting rather than a black. But for what little is lost in efficiency is made up for in that higher power output, thus netting you the same result in kilowatt hour production year over year. It's tough to get everything exact in solar and for what it matters in life. It's a give and take, but as long as the end result is a smaller carbon footprint and a lower utility bill, then why not go with the more aesthetically pleasing panels? It's worth noting the G7 Plus does cost a little more than that G7 next to me. So if you're not as concerned with aesthetics and more on dollars, then we would highly recommend the newer G7 to you. I'll be providing estimated pricing in this video on both modules for you to compare against various inverter manufacturers. And if you're interested in a hassle-free quote, so that way it's designed just for your home, then visit us online at pacificsuntech.com or by using the link in the description below. Now, these modules feature the same warranty as the G7s, a 25-year linear performance warranty and a 25-year product warranty, while, of course, being made here in America. And no matter what inverter you pair your Q-cells with, SMA, SolarEdge, or Enphase, you're going to get the most from your solar system because the Q-cells patented quantum half-cell technology. Now, if you're not super familiar with this, check out one of our older videos and it kind of goes into more detail on these quantum half cell technologies. But these panels won't disappoint wherever you live and whatever weather conditions you may have. In fact, Qcell has won more awards year over year in the solar industry than any other company. And they test the crap out of their solar panels to ensure they can handle anything. Q cells have anti-lid technology, anti-PID technology, hot spot protection, and traceable quality control. This last thing is a pretty big one if you ask me, as no one, literally no one, not LG, not Panasonic, not SunPower, have traceable quality control. So what is TRAC? This is what QCell has dubbed it, T-R-A dot Q. Well, every solar cell QCell manufactures, yes, every part of this panel QCell manufactured that means the cells, the ribbons, the framing, the back sheeting, the glass, everything is manufactured by Qcell. It's not outsourced. And every part of this panel has a QR code hidden within it. And every single one of these solar cells, if you could get close enough, you could see there's a microscopic edging right over here. It's in there and it's a little Q with the QR code in it. And it has a ton of information from manufacturing date, testing results, location of origin, and so much more that I don't even know. And this technology, while hasn't been needed, is very significant. But before I tell you why, please take a second to subscribe to the channel. Yeah, click that button down below and of course, hit the little bell icon to receive notifications on future videos just like this one. All right, so let's look at the automotive industry for a second. We've seen dozens of recalls from automakers over the years and they're able to narrow it down to certain cars they produce during certain periods and even specific parts. We've seen this a lot for airbags in Toyota, Subaru, Ford, Chevrolet, Volkswagen. I think every manufacturer has had a recall in airbags, but these automakers have learned to trace all their parts for all their vehicles. So when something like a recall occurs, they're not recalling every single vehicle sold. They're just looking for those that meet a certain criteria, year, make, and part number. That's what QCell has done with their track technology. They're logging every part used in the manufacturing of their solar panels and the most important part being these solar cells. So if anything ever happened to a QCell panel and they found that they had a defect, they'd be able to narrow it down to recall those specific panels with those specific cells that are having issues. You may not know this, but Sharp and BP Solar, British Petroleum, one of the largest oil companies, were once in the solar industry. But due to manufacturing defects, they were overwhelmed with warranty claims and eventually litigations. If these two companies had properly tracked their components throughout the manufacturing process, they actually may still be here today in the solar industry. 
It's that peace of mind and innovative thinking that continues to lead homeowners to choose Q-cell panels over the likes of household names like LG or Panasonic. I mean, Tesla ended their long-time contract with Panasonic, whom was producing their solar panels to work with Qcell. And to me, that's saying something pretty serious. Well, before I let you go, as promised, here is some estimated pricing for the Qcell's Q-Peak Duo G7 325, right next to the Qcell's Q-Peak Duo G6 Plus Black 340. I'm also showing the pricing difference between SMA America, Solar Edge, and Enphase. The pricing shown may vary depending on where you live and doesn't take into account the tax credit that's currently available or any uh, current promotions. Mind you, that 26% federal tax credit will be decreasing after December 31st of this year to 22%. So if you're on the fence about going solar, now is a great time. We have some great financing options where you can go solar with no money out of pocket and not have any payments for three months. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on solar technology and battery technology. I have an epic battle of batteries video coming soon and you're not going to want to miss it, trust me. And of course, if you live in our neck of the woods here in Southern California, visit us online at pacificsuntech.com or by using the link in the description below to receive a hassle-free quote. We would love to have you as a customer. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.